boing chicka, masala boing chicka, masala. Oh. Um, I started my career as a runner, um, and I think it's really important to work your way up. So, by doing various jobs within the media, um, where I am now producing and directing um, shows and DVD extras and short films, I feel that I'm more qualified by doing all those roles previously. I'm quite open to everything and I think in this day and age you've got to be multi-skilled to do well because I think production companies are looking for people that not only shoot but they edit and they can do a bit of writing and they can direct. They want to be able to leave projects with someone that can do multiple tasks. And with budgets being a bit lower, you need to be able to do everything. I really wanted to work in the TV or film industry and um, it's a harp on that. Because you do, you hope you can be there and work with people that you, you love watching on TV. And I've got, it's really fantastic because I've been working with Steve Coogan's company, who I think is a fantastic, amazing comedian. Um, and I've got to work with him dressed as Alan Partridge, which is insane, because I used to watch those shows all the time, um, and produce those and edit them and direct them, so, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of weird that I'm now doing that, but I always hoped that I would be. When I'm walking in the countryside, I normally like to use a stick, but uh, rather than buy one of those aluminium ones made in China by kids, I prefer a British one made in Britain, by trees. Very simple, really. If you want a walking stick, you just simply find somewhere like this. Somebody snap away in the excess branches. Very simple. And then that was, that was a bit too big. Makes me look like Moses. I don't want that because I'm not Moses. So simply getting inside of me, I just very simply jump against it. Like that. It's fine. Falling over is fine. You'll only have it once because now I've got a stick. Still a bit too long. I'll put it there again. And just to watch it one more time. <laughs> too short. There. You can give that one to a child. Just throw it away. This one, absolutely, absolutely perfect. Um, so that's a, that's a holiday picture he's used for that. Holiday picture. What was I saying? What were we saying? Um, it's put you off now, isn't it? I know, it's totally. Um, yeah? Shoot, write, edit, do as much as you can in your own time. You've got to learn by making mistakes. You have to. There's no shame in making mistakes. And you've got to learn from those mistakes, and that's the important thing. So I just say, shoot as much as you can, write as much as you can, read as much as you can, watch as much as you can. Just soak everything up and get to know what you like, because you've got to try and find your own unique voice. When a part of me wishes I did try a bit harder, just because of like mates and that who I know now are always saying, oh, you know, Carl, you, you know, you're stupid and stuff. You don't know enough. It's crawling with what, what? Why are you bothered about how they see you? You are what you are. Me? I don't care if I'm seen as intelligent, stupid, crazy, off the wall, having a midlife crisis, any of it. I'm just interested in what is. And if what is is not what the system's version is, then fuck them. I don't think Carl's going to learn anything from this, to be honest. Nothing important stays in there. So, I, mean, I think he learned everything he was ever going to learn by about 12. For me, I mean, you see, do you know you're open to theories and things? I'm sort of thinking, the brain, is there any chance that that could have come from somewhere else? John Stuart Mill, the philosopher, said, better to be Socrates, i.e. a great philosopher, and dis dissatisfied than a pig satisfied. I mean, when you talk about being happier, would you like to be just a happier pig? Yeah. You would? Yeah, because that's all... Well, fuck off then. Stop wasting my time. Carl Pilkerton is absolutely 100% for real. Um, he's a great guy with an incredible mind that you just want to mine all day because the things that come out of his mouth are just incredible. Um, and I did a documentary with him for Channel 4 a while ago. Um, and yeah, he's, he's fantastic. I think he's a real talent. I think he's just a totally unique individual. Um, and if he wasn't on TV, 
TV was a very dark, yeah. lonely place.